in the golden haze of yesteryears, where black and white pixels danced on screens of wonder, a certain television series took its place in the heart of entertainment history. It was an era of innocence and charm, when laughter flowed freely like the tickling notes of a melody, and a witty punchline had the power to bring families together, gathered around the flickering glow of a television set. Can you remember that first encounter with the Jack Benny program? a show that has etched itself into the annals of nostalgia. Picture this, the year is 1950, and a brand new medium called television is capturing the imagination of the masses. Amidst the buzz and excitement, the Jack Benny program steps onto the stage, becoming an instant classic. Do you recall that moment when you first discovered the quirky antics of Jack Benny, that lovable comedian with a violin in hand and a knack for timeless humor? Perhaps you found yourself laughing at the deadpan delivery that defied the norms of comedic timing. Or maybe it was the camaraderie between Benny and his sidekick, Rochester, that left an indelible mark on your memory. Ah, those memorable moments. Was it Benna's infamous penny-pinching nature that had you in stitches? The hilarious encounters with his cast of quirky characters. The way each episode unfolded like a well-choreographed dance of wit and charm, leaving you eagerly awaiting the next step. Whether it was a misadventure at the vault, a playful banter with Mary Livingstone, or an unexpected cameo that caught you by surprise, the Jack Benny program knew how to create moments that stayed with you. And now, as we journey back to those bygone days, let's unravel some delightful and random facts about the show that may tickle your memory. Did you know that the real-life personality of Jack Benny closely mirrored his on-screen persona, a testament to his comedic genius? Or that the show's running gags, like Ben is age always hovering around 39, became iconic signatures that still evoke chuckles today? As the spotlight turns toward these intriguing tidbits, let's uncover the layers that made the Jack Benny program a gem of its time. So, let your thoughts wander back to the charm of that old television set, where laughter resonated and tales of camaraderie unfolded in glorious monochrome. With each random fact, may your connection to this classic show grow even stronger. And as we embark on this journey of discovery and nostalgia, remember that the echoes of Jack Benny's laughter still ripple through time, inviting us to relive those moments of innocent mirth. The Jack Benny Program, a renowned 1950 TV series, originated from Jack Benny's long-standing radio show. The series showcased Benny's witty humor and introduced iconic characters like his stingy persona and his violin-playing valet, Rochester. With its blend of slapstick, satire, and self-deprecating humor, the show embraced a unique style that resonated with audiences. It became a comedic cornerstone of the era, influencing future sitcoms. The show's impact on popular culture was substantial. Jack Benny's timing and comedic delivery set standards for sitcoms, and his catchphrases like, well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, entered the lexicon. The program blurred lines between reality and fiction, with Benny's fictional persona often poking fun at his real-life image. The series cemented Benny's legacy as a comedic legend and contributed to the evolution of television comedy. Digging into the show reveals intriguing aspects. The portrayal of Benny as perpetually 39 years old became an ongoing joke and Benny's onstage persona contrasted with his generous off-screen personality. His interactions with regular cast members like Eddie Rochester Anderson and Don Wilson added depth to the show's dynamics. Notably, guest stars frequently appeared as themselves, further blurring fiction and reality. Incorporating surprise celebrity cameos was a signature move, contributing to the show's allure. The series ran for 15 years, shifting formats from live to filmed and eventually concluding. Despite the passage of time, the Jack Benny program endures as a testament to timeless comedy, reminding us of the power of laughter in any era. Marilyn Monroe's debut, a shining moment on the Jack Benny program in the annals of television history. One moment shines brightly. Marilyn Monroe's inaugural appearance on the Jack Benny program. A cornerstone of 1950s television, the show brought laughter to countless households. However, its significance transcends comedy. It marked the first steps of a burgeoning starlet into the limelight. Monroe's enchanting presence graced the episode titled Bob Crosby's Contract. Airing on October 18, 1953, 
This installment wove together the world of entertainment with Monroe's unmistakable allure. Her luminous energy illuminated the screen, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Yet, the show's allure extends beyond star power. Many episodes drew inspiration from Benna's storied radio career. Noteworthy among these adaptations are the Jack Benny Program, Christmas Shopping Show, and the Jack Benny Program, Jack Goes to the Races. These seamless transitions showcased Benna's mastery of comedic timing across mediums. While the Jack Benny program boasts a catalog of achievements, its theme song is a fascinating tidbit. The iconic violin etude that ushered audiences into each episode was penned by Conrad N. Kreutzer. Titled the second etude in Kreutzer's renowned compilation, it created a signature auditory hallmark that echoed through living rooms across the nation. As the years have passed, the Jack Benny program remains a testament to the golden age of television. Its episodes continue to elicit laughter and spark fond memories. From the magnetic debut of Marilyn Monroe to the clever adaptations of radio plots, the show's legacy endures as a cherished chapter in entertainment history. The Jack Benny Program, unveiling untold stories amid the golden age of television. The Jack Benny Program emerged as a beloved staple of 1950s entertainment, capturing hearts with its timeless humor and charismatic host. Delving into the show's annals, a captivating revelation surfaces, shedding light on the early years of the show and its evolution. The program's inception, initially titled the Lucky Strike Program after its sponsor, Lucky Strike Cigarettes, mirrored its radio predecessor. This seamless transition mirrored the broader sponsorship trends of the era. While the show eventually embraced the moniker The Jack Benny Program, echoes of its original title persisted in syndication prints. Notably, these 16mm prints retained moments where Benny heartily welcomed the audience to the Lucky Strike program, a testament to the symbiotic relationship between content and commerce. Yet, a singular episode stands out in the show's legacy. In 1952, the Jack Benny program showcased a clever spoof of the film Gaslight, aptly titled The Jack Benny Program, Autolite, co-starring the legendary Barbara Stanwyck. The episode's popularity was so resounding that Benny ardently sought to share its brilliance once more through rebroadcast. However, an intricate web of legal negotiations with MGM ensnared this desire, postponing its resurgence until 1959. This captivating narrative underscores the complexities inherent in the intersection of creative endeavors and corporate interests. However, one can't help but marvel at the serendipitous connection between the Jack Benny program and a future luminary of late-night television. In a delightful twist, a young Johnny Carson graced the show as a guest, approximately a year after launching The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. Carson's revelation that he had served as an usher in the same studio 12 years prior echoes the show's enduring impact. During his tenure as an usher, Carson honed his comedic sensibilities and even cultivated an imitation of Jack Benna's distinctive style. This intergenerational thread of influence unveils the remarkable continuum of comedic inspiration. As we look back on the Jack Benny program, these untold stories enrich our understanding of its significance. The fluid evolution of titles, the enduring popularity of parody, and the intertwining of comedic legacies all contribute to its enduring allure. From radio waves to television screens, the legacy of Jack Benny lives on, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of entertainment history. Marilyn Monroe's inaugural foray into television's spotlight unfolded on the Jack Benny program. In a memorable episode titled Bob Crosby's Contract, Monroe's magnetic presence captured hearts. Benny, renowned for his radio prowess, seamlessly transitioned his radio ensemble to the television screen, featuring familiar voices like Don Wilson, Eddie Rochester Anderson, and Dennis Day. Notably, even Benny's real-life wife, Mary Livingstone, graced the show periodically. In a whimsical dream sequence, Benny envisioned an alternate reality where he and Mary were wed with a teenage daughter. This fictional offspring was portrayed by none other than their actual daughter, Joan Benny. The show's theme, a violin edued from Conrad and Kreutzer, added a touch of timeless charm to the series. In the annals of television history, the Jack Benny program remains a treasured classic that united radio and television talent in an era when screens were black and white. But the laughter was vivid, 
The Jack Benny Program, a glimpse into TV comedy's evolution in the annals of television comedy. The Jack Benny Program stands as a pivotal moment in the medium's evolution. Debuting in 1950, this iconic show brought wit, humor, and charm to living rooms across America. One fascinating aspect of the series was its adaptation of radio show plots, a strategy that resonated with audiences. Notable episodes like Christmas Shopping Show and Jack Goes to the Races seamlessly transitioned from radio to TV, demonstrating Benny's adaptability and comedic prowess. A standout episode, The Jack Benny Program, Johnny Carson Guest, cemented the show's relevance. A year after taking the helm of The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, Carson made a memorable appearance on Benny's show. Revealing he once served as an usher in the same studio, Carson shared that he honed his comedic style by emulating Benny during those years. This convergence of comic titans showcased the interconnectedness of comedic history. Interestingly, the show underwent a transformation of its own. Originally titled The Lucky Strike Program after its sponsor, Lucky Strike Cigarettes, the series later adopted the names The Jack Benny Program or The Jack Benny Show for syndication. Intriguingly, remnants of its initial branding endured, with footage of Benny welcoming audiences to the Lucky Strike program remaining intact, serving as a testament to the show's advertising origins. The Jack Benny program left an indelible mark on entertainment, fusing radio's legacy with the burgeoning realm of television. Through adaptations of radio plots, memorable guest appearances, and branding evolution, the show epitomized the dynamic nature of comedic storytelling. As laughter echoed through the golden age of television, Jack Benny's genius shone brightly, illuminating the path for generations of comedians to follow. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the Jack Benny program, let's take a moment to traverse back through the sepia-toned corridors of time and immerse ourselves in the wondrous nostalgia of 1950s television. This show wasn't just a series, it was a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of laughter, wit, and timeless charm. It brought characters to life in a way that made them feel like cherished friends, and every episode was a treasure trove of comedic gems that continues to sparkle through the annals of history. As the curtain falls on this remarkable journey, I invite you to reflect upon the moments that have left an indelible mark on your heart. Did you find solace in the hilarious antics of Jack, marvel at the quirky camaraderie between the cast, or perhaps stumble upon a personal revelation amidst the uproarious laughter? The Jack Benny program wasn't just a TV show, it was an invitation to connect with the bygone era of entertainment and find resonance with its humor and humanity. Your memories, your thoughts, and your connection to this show are the living embers that keep its flame aglow. Share your favorite moments, your most treasured recollections, and the ways in which this show may have touched your life. Let's come together to celebrate the magic that transcends time, as the Jack Benny program lives on through the stories we carry forward. Thank you for taking this journey through time with me, and for allowing the echoes of laughter from a different era to dance across your thoughts. Your engagement enriches the tapestry of this conversation, and I eagerly await the tapestry I'll weave with your memories. Warm regards and timeless chuckles.